All right, well, anyhow, I'm recording again, and I'm at, I'm at the back entrance to the uh, to the Bergamont station here. And uh, th this is not a bad place to start, I guess. It might go all downhill from here. I really don't know. I really don't know that much about art. But uh, um, this is one of the galleries here. It's called Copro Gallery. Personally, I'm more interested in the parking lot right now than the, than the galleries, but we'll see. I mean, this is this here is kind of proof that I, I'm not the only one with too much time on my hands, or well, I don't know. Maybe these I don't know. Maybe these people all work here, or a nice car. There's a that's a Porsche. Oh no, that's a NSX. Looks like a Porsche. Same same concept. Japanese car. See you, look at. See, if you're a tourist and you get here, I don't know where, maybe this might actually be the, I don't know. They're, uh, they're, they're still testing. You know, it's funny. They say the train to Santa Monica is arriving. I, I didn't. I didn't even know that this was actually up and running. This is the Bergamont station at 26th and Bergamont. Look, maybe it's an E ride. It says E. I don't know what that stands for. Maybe energy efficient. Fuck, I don't know. I, I hope so for everybody's sake. Maybe it'll, maybe it'll bring back the uh, solar uh, ice caps. But let's let's look at some more of these cars. I really, I'm into car culture, you know. Really, I'm really into car culture. I'm not sure what that logo means. Let's see, it's uh, Lincoln, I guess. There's a BMW. Ah, there's a, I'm not sure what that one is. There's an Audi with some bird shit on it. A Volvo SUV, another BMW. Here's a Nissan, shiny. Another Volvo. Apparently there's a lot of Swedes here, or fans of Sweden. Aren't Volvos from Sweden? I, I thought Ford bought them for a while, but I don't know whatever happened, Ford divested or something. I think Ford owns uh, Northrop, or they're some kind of merger. I, I do know that uh, the LAPD cruisers are all uh, Crown Victorias, which is a, a Ford motor product, and uh, they have Northrop uh, uh, um, computer systems in them. So uh, there's some kind of a conjunct conjunctivity. I don't know if that's the proper word for it with the Northrop and uh, and uh, Ford Motor Company. There's an Altima, a Lexus. There's a new one. That's a shiny silver car. So that's pretty much the, the car culture that's going on. I don't see any uh, 56 Chevy Nomads or shit like that. You know, you would think, but not really. It's not happening. So I think... Uh, Here's photographs. I guess I should probably go in some of the galleries, huh? It's 
funny. I'm looking for an American car. Oh, there's a Chevrolet van. There's an Avalon, but that's a Toyota product. Here's an Elantra, which is a Hyundai product. Here's a Nissan and a, a Honda and a Nissan and a Honda and a Nissan. Oh, what's a Mariner? Hey, look it. An American car. <laughs> I, 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 maybe you should show Bernie this tape. It'll add fuel to, to his burn. Out. What an asshole. Little, little too late, huh? Too little too late. Fucking assholes. Yeah, it's like watching, uh, who's that jerk, uh, he ran for a Senate in, uh, what was it, Wisconsin or Minnesota? Al Franken. Right, yeah, sure. Let's reindustrialize the North. It sounds like a, you know, a Civil War uh, cry. These people have no fucking clue. I wonder what kind of car. He probably drives like a, uh, a Mercedes. Uh, does Mercedes make an electric car yet? Probably, huh? But he's got important things to say and important TV shows to be on. And look, that doesn't make me anti-Semitic. Hey, do you know who, uh, what's that guy's name? Uh, I always forget. I, I have a, 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 a mental block on this guy's name. He's the, he, he's the producer of Saturday Night uh, Live. Uh, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to talk anymore until I can remember that jerk's name. Hang on. I mean, he's not, I mean, he's a nice guy, I'm sure. I mean, just think of all the comedians he's brought us and, and all the funny stuff on TV. I mean, not Seinfeld. I don't think he was responsible for Seinfeld and stuff, but he brought us a lot of funny stuff. Now, this guy, Robert Berman, does uh, Photo LA. He's been doing it now for 25 years. And this is called Julian Wasser Duchamp in Pasadena Redux. January through March 2016, Robert Berman Gallery. I guess maybe he has a gallery in Pasadena, or maybe maybe uh, Marcel Duchamp came back from the dead, and he lives up in, maybe he's like uh, Jonathan Gold's neighbor in Pasadena with Lori Ochoa, his wife and stuff. Who the fuck cares? But look, I, you know, I mean... Uh, that, that's not a, really a political statement or anything. It's just, you know, I don't know. Marcel Duchamp was a Dadaist. And anyhow, but here's uh, the Robert Berman Gallery. I don't know what B7 means. I, I know, uh, I know, uh, I know G2 was the uh, the Cuban intelligence uh, agency under Fidel Castro. I don't know if uh, Raul's changed any of that. Hey, look, at there's a Ford in front of it. Maybe that's Berman's uh, Mustang. And it, well, I, probably not. I mean, it looks like probably like a, a 2009 or something. Hey, do you know who uh, the, the producer of Saturday Night Live is? I'm trying to remember his name. Lauren Michaels. Lauren Michaels. Not that it matters, but have you ever heard whether he's a homosexual or not? Nope. Yes, I, mm. I, I bet you he is. He's Canadian, you know, all those Canadians are kind of a little fruity. Yeah, Lauren Michaels, that, that was the name I was looking for. Lauren Michaels, he's uh, uh, I mean, just think of all the, the talent that he, he brought to us. He brought us a uh, he brought us Ghostbusters. He he brought us uh, uh, what was that movie? Um, uh, the the Happy Madisons. He brought us uh, Beverly Hills Cop Three, and you know, of course, I'm I'm overgeneralizing. I'm talking about you know the the stars of those movies. 
I'm talking about, uh, um, who is that first one? Um, well, he brought us Ghostbusters and Ghostbusters 2. Now, now they got a Ghostbusters 4, and of course that has the, the, the fat black girl from Saturday Night Live. So I, I'm sure that's, that's going to be real funny. But uh, she, she, I mean, she's all right. I mean, you know, she's funny in her own way. I'm not going to say, yeah, she's funny looking, because I think she's really kind of attractive. But um, Eddie Murphy and Bill Murray and Adam Sandler and Seth Meyers and Jimmy Fallon and uh, Dan Aykroyd and Al Franken. Uh, who else do we got over there? Um, it's been so long. I, you know, all the, all the, I mean, now in the, the titles, they got like 15 stars. It's, it's not like the good old days. And who was that? Oh, uh, uh, Gene Wilder's friend who died of cancer, you know, uh, Rosanna, Rosanna Dana. She was, I mean, she was kind of funny in her own way. She was funny. But, you know, admittedly, uh, admittedly, uh, Saturday Night Live is, is male dominated. Oh, well, except, of course, you know, occasionally they have guest hosts like Hillary Clinton and stuff like that. So I wonder if Bernie, was Bernie ever, was he ever invited? I saw Bernie on uh, on the Stephen Colbert show. He he had to play second fi fiddle to Ben Stiller. Ben Stiller was on there advertising uh, Zoo Story Two or some shit like that, and Bernie came on. And you know, I you know, really, I mean, that's that to me, that's that's a horrible political faux pas to you know play play second fiddle to Ben Stiller uh, promoting Zoo Zoo Story Two, you know. But you know, somehow it's political. I mean, it's appropriate to the political uh, agenda or the political, uh, that's not at all the right word, the political uh, atmosphere of their agenda, because they, it, 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 it's, it's sort of like this, this Kevin Berman thing. Oh, no, Kevin Berman, that's, that's Robert Berman. Kevin Berman is a corrupt Torrance cop. Well, I, you know, I heard he was corrupt. I was down at the Delamo Mall once, and I asked a sergeant from the Torrance police. I said, hey, do you know who Kevin Berman is? He goes, well, yeah. I go, well, you know, was, was he corrupt? He goes, listen, man, I, I can't, you know, what, get, what, what do you want? I, you know, I, I'm working here. Get out of here. So, you know, Kevin Berman was investigating me for Steven Spielberg. And, um, you know, so... <laughs> I guess, you know, I insulted Steven Spielberg's mother. She, I'm not going to even say the name of her, her, her uh, restaurant in Beverly Hills. You can Google it. But, you know, she's got kosher, kosher Italian food there. And I don't know what for. You know, Steven certainly isn't kosher. I mean, his art is all very kosher. But let's, let's face it, that, that, that is good art. You know, what was it? Star Wars and Indiana Fights Back or whatever the shit that fuck ass. But look, you know, I, I really, I, I'm not a big fan of DreamWorks. I'm not a big fan of uh, dream analysis. I'm not a fig, big fan of uh, Nazi psychiatry. And I'm not a big fan, really, of much. But, you know, who, who the fuck cares, you know? Right? But so Kevin Berman, last I heard, he's, uh, he's uh, Steven Spielberg's uh, director of security. Steven Spielberg spends millions of dollars on security. And, you know, you would wonder why. Why would, why would anyone, you know want to get at Steven Spielberg. What has he ever done to anybody to harm anybody? What, you know, what's he worried about? But he's got this corrupt cor Torrance cop who has his own security company. And look, you know, I don't know if he was corrupt or not. That, you know, that is an allegation that I cannot back up with facts because uh, I, it's just hearsay. So I really don't mean to, I don't mean to uh, uh, cast aspersions on Mr. Berman. I just know my, my, own, my own experience with him was he was uh, spying on me in a restraining order uh, procedure at Santa Monica Court, and he said something behind me, and I turned around and asked him what he said. And uh, later on in the disposition, or the deposition uh, uh, in a restraining order for uh, Leah Adler to get a restraining order against me uh, contacting her or Steven Spielberg or any of those people, he testified in his deposition, in sworn testimony, that uh, he didn't say anything, that, that I turned around and ask him if he had said anything. And look, see, they say I'm delusional. The guy's a fucking liar. Okay, now, you know, he can sue me. You know, I don't care. But, you know, that, you know, Berman is, 
I'm not saying Robert Berman has any relationship with Kevin Berman or Spielberg or anything. I'm not, I'm not, even, I'm not even implying that. I just... But a nice, that's a nice Mercedes there. It's an E320 German motor product. Praise God for German motor products, huh? Now, see, unfortunately, unfortunately, that was all recorded <laughs> because that, that, I mean, that kind of stuff, that's borderline anti-Semitic. There, there was actually an editorial in the LA Times this morning about the difference between anti-Zionism and anti-Semitism and how, uh, how it's kind of hard to distinguish sometimes because the UC regents have to make a determination uh, about what hate speech is and you know whether whether Israeli uh, Orthodox Israeli Jews really do hate Palestinians or not and whether Palestinians really hate Orthodox Israeli Jews I mean look at I mean obviously there's certain hard feelings but if you live in a dirt hut for 60 years on the Gaza Strip I mean why you know you're not gonna you're not gonna harbor any resentments you, you know what are you gonna do I mean it's that's just the way God made it let's face it I mean, who, who was it? Well, who was, uh, who was, uh, was it, uh, see, I, I wish I knew my Bible better, but I think it was, uh, I think it was Esau and Isaac and Rebecca. So Rebecca, well, so, e, so Isaac, who was Abraham's son. No, no, I, I got it wrong. It's Jacob. No, who was it? One of these guys. No, it's Jacob. And, no, it's not Jacob. Anyhow, it was Isaac's son. And Isaac's son was, uh, who the fuck was he? Let's see, one of them was Esau, and the other one was the other one, the Jewish guy. And so, I'm thinking, I'm thinking Jacob, but that doesn't sound right, because I, it wasn't Jacob. Anyhow, we'll read it now, but, but Re I like Rebecca's role in that whole little thing. I really, you know, it really gives me a lot of respect for, well, for Rebecca. It's somewhere early in the book of Genesis, I think Genesis chapter 13. Maybe, maybe that's why 13 is an un unlucky number, because after, after Isaac gave, gave, he was an old man, he was blind. And uh, who the fuck was it? One of those guys was, uh, anyhow, you read it yourself. I, I, I don't really, but my brother calls me anti-Semitic, and now, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't really like much. I mean, I certainly don't believe, you know, I mean, if some guy, some, particularly a Jewish guy, okay, but not even a Jewish guy, if anybody, I mean, look at what they did with Charles Manson. I mean, he thought he was the Messiah. I mean, he, he's up in fucking, I don't know, he's not in solitary anymore. I've, I've talked to people in, the, in the, the correctional system who've had dinner with him. But, you know, if you, if, you, if you say you're the fucking king of the universe, get a grip, Christians. Just get a fucking grip. The king of the universe, come on. Have some self-respect. Well, that, that pretty much is the end of the... I, I'm not really interested in going in any of those galleries. If, if you are, it's, it, it's, it's located here at, uh, at Bergamont Station uh, of the, uh, the Los Angeles uh, MTA's uh, uh, exposition line that runs from uh, Santa Monica around uh, somewhere around uh, Broadway and uh, Ocean Avenue soon to go to a union station in downtown and uh, you can you can come over here and check out Kevin Berman's uh, 
little uh, thing. Maybe you can buy some pictures or something. Who, who cares? Uh, you, 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 you might. You know, it might, it might accrue in value or something. Just think of all that Nazi art that, uh, that, that they're, they're getting back. Now, all those, those Jewish families are getting back from, uh, from those, those people who stole it from them in uh, World War II. I mean, it's much more valuable now than it ever was. Than it ever was. I mean, I'm not saying the degenerate art. I mean, we got, we got enough degenerate art going on. I mean, right here. We, we don't need to talk about, you know, Hitler and degenerate art, do we? I mean, just turn on, uh, turn on Late Night with uh, Jimmy Fallon or some shit like that.